Hey guys, welcome. I uh, welcome back to Etl QA Labs. So today we will uh, talk about uh, difference between delete, truncate, and drop command. So until now we have already learned DDL and DML commands. So we will take the very important questions uh, related to interview. So they will definitely ask you. Uh, this question and this is very very important question to understand and uh, you know give the correct answer right so if you have watched my previous videos previous uh, you know uh, videos related to ddl and dml i think this uh, question is very easy to answer right so what is difference between ddl uh, sorry uh, between delete truncate and drop command in SQL right so let's look at one by one and we will also look the practical you know practically uh, we will try to understand using our uh, uh, you know Oracle database as well right so we will try to run the queries so first one the first difference is DDL is a DML command alright that uh, we already know truncate and drop both are DDL commands okay second difference is so this is a, a bit of theories right so then second one is can remove selected rows so ddl can remove selected rows truncate can remove all the rows i mean it removes all the rows i mean it cannot remove uh, there is uh, no option to select only selected row to remove right so it has to remove all the rows when we use the truncate command right and then uh, we have the drop command so what drop command does is it basically removes the data as well as the structure of the you know structure which means it will remove the data in the table both right so when i say desc after this dsc employee table then we should not be able to find that table if we are running the drop command okay so hope you understand ddl and uh, sorry delete and truncate both will remove the data only however the drop command will remove the data and the table right both which means there does not I means after you run the drop command you cannot even see the structure of the table right so it's it's all gone but in truncate and delete you can still delete the data but table structure will still be there okay so this is covered now uh, third point delete if you are performing the delete you can roll back which means whatever you have deleted right you can still recover that data okay using the rollback command but after truncate you cannot roll it back and in truncate in drop it is not possible because everything is already deleted right so how can you including the table right so even table is also not there so how the data will be recovered so nothing can be recovered so no rollback possible so truncate and drop there is no rollback possible right so another thing is why there is no rollback possible in because these these two are the ddl commands yeah and all the ddl commands by default are auto commit okay auto commit which means the uh, whatever changes you are doing uh, you know uh, as part of your ddl command everything will be permanently committed in the database which means if something is permanently committed you cannot really roll it back or you cannot do the undo but in delete what will happen is delete will uh, delete the data but it will at the same time it will create a log file so that we can recover the data okay so if somebody has accidentally deleted some data and they want to recover the data they can go back and they can run the uh, rollback command and all the data will be restored back again so this is the major difference between uh, you know delete and truncate that in delete the data can be rolled back means data can be undo but in truncate nothing can be undo it everything means uh, all the data will be permanently deleted so this is the difference okay and uh, fourth point is uh, delete command in delete command you can actually select 
you can the select the record and you can delete based on that right so we have seen in the previous uh, session that when we are running the delete command we can give in where clause like what which all the you know uh, records we want to delete so you have the option to give the where clause okay if you are not specifying the where clause then everything will be deleted then truncate command there is no where clause and here there is no where clause anyways right so it just uh, truncate table table name and drop table table name yeah this is how we so there is no where clause here fifth point is uh, delete is slower why it is slower because it keeps the you know log so to recover in future right so whatever deletion will happen it will be stored somewhere as part of backup log back backup log so until you perform a commit statement specifically uh, after that exclusively uh, it will not be you know permanently committed in the database or the memory so and and truncate it's auto commit so what will happen is it will not anyways create any kind of log it will delete everything right at one go and uh, here there is no point in the drop because uh, you already have deleted the table and the data both right so this is how it is so this is a uh, theory a bit and then we will uh, now we will go and see each of them right so let's see that I have already one table that I will show you select star from employee uh, okay employee one guys employee let's see okay we have it okay we have this data but I just wanted to make sure all right I have So this is the table guys double P okay so it should be double P okay let me rename it yeah rename E M P P L O Y E E one two M P L something like that this will be helpful all right now we will see that this so guys we have already seen how to rename the table you know so that is how I rename it so you know I just want to use the smaller table name so now we will uh, look at the delete right so let's say if I need to delete uh, for example I need to delete the employee number one two alright or maybe employee number one if I want to delete so here right this my Jan so let's see if we are able to delete it or not so select delete star from emp l where where em e emp number right emp number equal to one so it will be deleted so one row deleted it says now see employee number one is gone right this is what i was saying but when we are actually using the the truncate everything everything has to be deleted because there is no option right so let's try and see um, so this is what we have seen now what I can show is uh, like you know using the delete command I can even delete all the records so if I'm not going to give here for example uh, not this one so let's delete from EMPL if I'm not going going to give any where clause it will delete all the records yeah so let's try see 14 rows deleted here guys I don't th th think so the rollback will work but let me try okay Wow fantastic it's working <coughs> second guys yes so you see that the rollback hmm okay so let me try to run it which means whatever we have deleted right delete from uh, okay from EMPL where EMP number equal to 14 let's say okay so if I see 14 is gone here 
the last record if I say roll back let's see if it is coming back yeah see the rule number 12 I think we removed right in in here see here we remove the 12 here we cannot see it 10 uh, employee number 10 is the last one but when we say roll back it came back all right guys so in rollback we can get back all the data okay uh, uh, sorry in in delete if we are rolling back which which means uh, this is the definition right roll back is possible so we are able to roll back because it was uh, maintaining a log and from log we are able to recover all right now we have also seen that we can uh, delete all the records all the records from this table using the delete if we are not specifying any where clause like this okay now we will do one thing we will run how does the truncate work right so when I say truncate table and then table name okay table truncated is says right and if I say roll back see roll back will not be possible okay so if I say roll back and then if I say EMPL nothing is coming because it is permanently committed right so that's why I said DDL commands are auto commit and it is automatically committed okay so that's why we are not able to roll back in DDL case we have not committed uh, specifically uh, after you know uh, performing delete that's why we were able to recover okay now mm, what I will do is I will again create this table from another table create table and I will show you drop EMPL I select star from employee employee right okay oh, sorry guys I think I have to say EMPL1 maybe okay now we got it now if I say EMPL1 then I got this data right so now what I will do is EMPL1 I will run the drop command so drop table and then table name EMPL1 so it says table dropped which means if I see it says the table or view does not exist but uh, in truncate we were able to see the table but there was no data right so if I say DESC EMPL1 see it says that uh, you know table does not exist object does not exist which means this table is also removed along with the data but in truncate we have seen that we are able to see at least table structure when we say DESC right so this is the main difference so let me try to okay again let me do one thing let me create yeah creating again now I will see I will show you the truncate and then I will show you okay now we'll say truncate table EMPL1 right now truncated right but when I say select star I think it will not give any record but it has something no rows but the structure is still there so if you say EMPL1 then you see that table name column name etc everything is there correct only data is removed and that is permanently saved so this is what guys I wanted to you know cover as part of this DDL uh, sorry did the difference between uh, delete truncate and drop so hope this is making sense and if you need more detailed you know information about all this DDL uh, delete truncate and drop you can watch my previous videos uh, related to DDL and DML uh, so you will get all the you know doubts clarified uh, but yeah I think this is one of the most important questions so you should remember this yeah okay guys so I think um, uh, we should close the uh, you know this topic today we have covered everything if at all you have any questions please uh, do drop me a line on my you know uh, comment box so that I can come back to you with uh, you know uh, the clarification if you have any and uh, one more thing guys please subscribe my channel uh, and uh, motiv and that will give me motivation to create more videos and thank you guys thank you for watching uh, today and we'll see uh, you later uh, with the next video and until then happy learning bye